Hi, Porg here from Attitudes. Welcome to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Well, today's tutorial is going to be kind of a mix of a few things. You can use it as an intro, and um, you can use it as an advertisement, or you can use it as a kind of, you know, a branding your YouTube channel name, or whatever, whatever you want to use it for. Now, there's two things you're going to need for this project. The first thing is, you need a transparent or plain background image of, we'll say, a can, or a bottle, or whatever it is, any, any image you like, once it has either a transparent background or a clean plate background, i.e. like something with just a white background and no kind of mix of colours, because we're going to have to either mask out or use a transparency. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Okay, the second thing you're going to need is a background, and preferably for a better effect you need a background that's moving. Now if you use green screens a lot, you'll probably have a package somewhere. Um, I want to package off a Little Rich uh, competition, um, which is high definition backgrounds for green screens and stuff. So if you have something like that, that would be perfect. But if not, you can always just use either a texture file in the background and you know mix up some effects to get it moving, or whatever you like yourself. So anyway, let's start. You're also going to need some music, but I'll explain that a bit. I'm going to create a new um, composition here. Uh, yeah, I'll do. Okay, I always have, I always, my blank composition is set up that it's like 10 minutes long because in case I have to add things and, you know, later on, I don't want to be short of space on the timeline, so I always make it long and then I can trim it down. Okay, well anyway, the first thing you want to need is to bring in your can, okay? Try to get in there. Now, th you'll see yourself that the can is just a plain silver can, and that's purely because um, I didn't want any logos or anything on this for advertising, you know, infringements or anything else, I don't want any hassle, so. But you can see yourself, you can have anything that kind, you know, that kind of shape or whatever. Now I'm going to mask out the outside of the can. Usually I would spend a lot of time on this, but as I'm just kind of showing you what to do roughly, I'm going to do a butcher job. Uh, very roughly cut. Okay. That's very bad. <laughs> okay. So, um, as you can see, I'm doing this just very quickly, just so as you get an idea of what I'm looking for. Now, if you don't have this, if you have, sorry, if you have, um, instead of the can being left, if you have the screen left, just select your layer and press MM, and in mask 1, you go down to subtract. See, so if you have something like this, after masking, go down to here, into mask 1, and make sure it's on add. So you're just left with the can. Okay, so that's step 1. Now step 2, we're going to use the selection tool, click off the screen, and click once on the can, and we're just going to make that a little bit bigger and keep the shape roughly. It's not that important, as I say, you could spend time doing this, so I'm just doing it to show you. Now, that can on its own is pretty boring, we need, we need a background. Okay, the pack I have imported here is a pack, is a HD background I won from a competition on YouTube, um, from Little Rich is competition. So, I'm going to use this background here. So, once you have your background, you can select anything you like, once it's kind of, you know, goes in tune with the logo of the picture you have here. And, I'm going to add that in there. Okay, and I'm going to expand it to the full size of the screen. And as you can see already, without even doing a single thing to this composition, that kind of matches, you know, we have the kind of hint of orange bubbles, and when you think of that, you think of a can of orange, and then you have a can, so it kind of mixes in, and that's the kind of thing you want to look, look for. Make sure that, you know, you're keeping the theme, so to speak. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add some music. Now, before I start talking about music. I get a lot of people asking me, where do you get your music? Where do you get your, you know, royalty-free stuff? And I can tell you there's loads of places, but the place that personally I get my stuff from is a website called audionautics.com. Okay, I'll put a link in the description drawer. Now, Audionautics has not just great songs, you know, you could say, well, every free site has that, but they're labeled, they're, they're kind of in their own easy to kind of click places and groups and everything, and you can preview them very easily all, you know, by just scrolling down and going through the whole lot. Now, I wanted a kind of a upbeat dance theme for this, kind of, what I'm doing now, so I'm going to go Tech Urban. And then you just go down to the one you like, click through them all and play them, and when you find the one you like, just right click on the text, and do Save Link As. And then you see it saves as an MP3 format sound. Now, if you're going to use this music, and I have to stress this, okay, you 
you must, and I mean must, give props to, uh, give props to Audionautics for the work that they do in getting us free music, royalty free music, and they do a lot of work to get, you know, music for free, which you don't have to do a thing, register, you don't have to register, subscribe, or anything else. Now, I'm not giving him a shout out, I'm not giving him, you know, I don't know the guy personally, I don't know Jason Shaw or anyone in Audionautics, but people constantly ask me where I get my free music, and this is just my personal favourite, where I get most of my stuff. Anyway, there you go, there, audionautics.com, have a look yourself. Now, I picked, for this one down here, I went for Hip Hop, and I selected Eyes Cold, so I'll bring that in now. Desktop. And there you go, somewhere here, ice cold. Okay, now get your song in there, throw it into your composition. And then I'm going to bring my timeline down to the end of the song. And trim it. And I could even bring it down a lot more because I'm not going to have 2 minutes 30 of a thing. So we'll bring it down to, we'll say, 1 minute. It should be perfect. Okay, now, here's what you're going to do next. You're going to go to the Puppet Pin Tool. Click it, make sure it's selected, make sure nothing else is selected on there, give two other options if you left click and hold down you can change it to whatever one you want, we want the first one, puppet pin tool and I'm going to simply click on the top part of the can oh whoops I select the layer first I'm going to click on the top one there I'm going to click in the middle one there and down the bottom just one there Okay, you don't have to be, you, you can take more time with this, I'm just doing it roughly to show you. So we've selected a puppet pin tool, we've clicked once, made a yellow circle up the top, one in the middle, and one on the bottom. Now, we're going to go to the one in the middle, okay, left click and hold down, and you see what happens if I move that left and right now, okay? It kind of, like, jump, you know, bubbles around or moves around left and right. Now, yes, you could, one, uh, one keyframe at a time, move that and animate it but there's a much better way and to do this you must have music on your timeline it will not work if you don't have music on your timeline okay so what we're going to do is we're going to mu move the can to the beat okay so we're going to let the music play the music will play once we do this and then we're going to move the can to the music so as it looks a lot more in sync okay so what we're going to do is we're going to mouse over scroll in a bit and mouse over this again but this time hold down control right and as soon as I press left click now and hold it down, the music will start and I'm going to move this to it. So, here we go. Whoops. <laughs> okay, press Ctrl Z to undo. And then I'm going to hold down Ctrl. Left click and hold down. Shall we begin? see under the effects section on your mask you'll have keyframes and then keyframes have just registered like motion tracking have registered the movement of the mouse and they will now they will now follow that so if I scroll I'll just zoom out again if I scroll along I'll click off here actually so there's no keyframe showing now if I move along you'll see see moves around to the song the bubbles in the background moving okay now I'll try and do Okay, now this is rendered, and um, just to, just doing five seconds worth just to show you exactly what I mean. And if I render preview this now, you should see exactly the can dancing and everything. So let's try this out. Shall we begin? Shall okay. we begin? And there you go. Now you'll see as you move the keyframes along that the bits will spike out up the top, okay, and sometimes in the bottom as well. Let me find one to show you. Okay, there. Okay, do you see that? Do you see right, right there? It kind of looks like a corner bit. We can fix this, okay? It is fixable. So, we're going to left click and hold down on the puppet pin tool, and we're going to go to puppet start tool, okay? And then quite simply, zoom in a bit, quite simply mouse over the area where it is, and click. And you'll get this spray effect, okay? And there you see, can has gone round again. It's not sticking up or spiking up as much. You can do the same with the bottom here, where the bottom pin is. 
okay so if you just go here like this okay it kind of keeps that flat as well so it gives more of effect if it can and you'll see now it shouldn't spike as much when it turns there you go okay well I hope that's been of some use to you um, before I go I have a quick message um, I'm now in a position to offer a uh, tuition for After Effects if you have a an assignment due, if you're a student have an assignment due, or you're just very beginner and want to learn from scratch but want private tuition, then you can contact me on my Skype. My Skype is YT Attitudes, and I'll put that in my description box so that you can see it there. Okay, when you're sending me a friend request, make sure you state in it that you're looking for tuition, um, because I get people at me and who I don't know and I don't usually block them. So make sure you say looking for tuition, and also. Uh, tell me what it is you're looking to learn. Thanks for coming to another After Effects tutorial. This is Pork from Attitude saying, see you next time.